Hello students, here I am, your AM ma'am, and today we are going to begin with the chapter sentence. So, what is the sentence? Well, a sentence is a group of words that makes complete sense. Yeah? Now, what is the most important part in the sentence? The verb. The verb is the most important part in the sentence. It is the action word. Alright, let's move on. Let's look at these groups of sentences. Sri Lanka island. What is it? Does it make any sense? It doesn't, isn't it? Now when I say Sri Lanka is an island. Yes, you understand? Because it makes complete sense and a clear meaning comes out of it. We are talking about an island called Sri Lanka. Now let us look at the next group of words. Likes, sister, ice cream, mine. What is it? Okay, likes, sister, ice cream, mine. These are all words. But does it make any sense? It doesn't. Now let's see here. My sister likes ice cream. Yes, it makes absolute sense because it has a clear meaning. I like ice cream. You like ice cream. So if I say ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Do you understand? Yes, you can understand. Not because we all love ice cream. Huh? Because whatever I said makes complete sense and express clear meaning. Well children, I have a variety of ice creams for you. You can choose your one and go on, lick them, no problem. And as you lick on those ice creams, let us move on to the next slide. And let's see the components in a sentence. What is the first thing and the most important thing? It must contain a verb, that is the action word. Now, after that, the next thing that a sentence has is a subject. What is it? It is the doer of the action. Okay. Now, some sentences, they have an object. What is the object? The thing or the person that undergoes the action. Pardon my handwriting. I'm sorry. I hope you understand what I'm writing. Now let us look at a few examples of sentences with and without objects. See, Ron kicked the ball. Ron, subject, kicked, verb, the ball, object. Clear? Now let us look at this sentence. Ron snored. Ron, subject, verb, snored. Is there any object? There isn't. And why is it so? Children, remember those verbs which do not take any objects are called intransitive verbs. They don't need any objects. And those verbs that take objects are called transitive verbs. In my video on verbs, you will get a better and clearer picture on transitive and intransitive verbs. Okay? And I will also tell you how to immediately understand whether a verb is transitive or intransitive. Over there, let's move on for the day. So now, the next thing in a sentence, it always begins with a capital letter. We all know it, isn't it? From the nursery classes, we've been learning that a sentence always begins with a capital letter. And it always ends with a full stop or a question mark or an exclamation mark isn't it now let's move on to the types of sentences so declarative interrogative imperative and exclamatory what is a declarative sentence declarative sentences declare or tell something for example the nile is the longest river in the world Remember it. It's a good GK question for you. Which is the longest river in the world? Okay. Interrogative sentences. Ask a question. Simple. 
Who left the fan on? Naughty one. Imperative sentences. They give commands or advice or make requests. For example, stop talking. Exclamatory sentences. They show strong feelings. What a beautiful flower. Now children remember exclamatory sentences can be uh, feelings of grief, sadness, excitement or happiness. Okay. Now let's move on and see the special word arrangement. You can immediately understand which sentence is what by the end punctuation mark. For declarative sentences, their simpler name is statements and the end punctuation mark is always a full stop. Interrogative sentences, the simpler name is questions and the end punctuation mark is always question mark. Interrogative sentence, so naturally it ends with sign of interrogation. Imperative sentences, what are they? The simpler name is commands, advice or requests and they end either in full stop or exclamation mark. And the exclamatory sentence, the simpler name is exclamations and the end punctuation mark is exclamation mark, naturally. Now children, this is it for the chapter of sentence, a very short and crisp chapter, very easy one indeed. Go through the chapter in your book, go through my video, look at the slides and then you are to do the assignments, that is all the exercises that are there in the book. I will be shortly uploading everything and for any confusions or clarifications you can always call me or whatsapp me. So that's it for the day. Stay home, stay safe and be very very happy. Bye bye.